Welcome to Silicon Scoop, where we dive into the latest tech news impacting the world. Join John Irwin and the Startup Coach as they explore the tech news that matters to you. Stay ahead, stay informed, and now on with the show. We're going to do 23 and me. So the yeah. 23 and me CEO quits over going private. Yeah. So I know you have that as the headline. I don't think that's the headline, to be honest. I think the headline is that the entire board quit on her before she resigned. So just quickly, like the whole board quit on her and now she's resigning. So this is interesting. So, and I don't even know how to pronounce her in the last name. Wojcicki is stepping down amid discussions of taking the company private. So it does raise several interesting questions about the future of the direct-to-consumer genetic testing, but they've been facing challenges for the last few years. Like they had a data breach, like they've just, uh, their privacy, uh, their privacy policies are horrible. Um, uh, I'm surprised she's lasted this long. Let's put it that way. I agree. You know, obviously they're selling your data, everybody under the sun. Um, the question is, so they are talking about going private. You're saying the whole board quit uh, and now she's quit. So who's left? Well, I think the board will come back now that she quit, I think, or some of the people. And there were some significant people on that board, like really, really, um, uh, yeah, really, really um, key people um, that were on that board. So I don't know what the future is going to be. I'll have to look who was on that board of, of 23 and me, but this is just another, like it, it, this, like this industry needs an awakening and like the genetic testing needs an awakening. There needs to be more privacy integrated, more reg regulatory scrutiny. There needs to be a lot more investigation into this and a lot more, uh, a lot more safety and, and privacy policies need to change. Like there just needs to, uh, there needs to be a significant change. Yeah. And again, when they're taking your DNA data and selling it to everybody, and then the question starts to come when you take these tests from different companies, get completely different results. And the question is, well, are they actually valid? Yeah. Like, are you getting anything that's actually worth anything? Or are they just giving you um, something that's not really relevant? I think they're giving you some things that are relevant. I think the one thing that's more relevant for people and you and I have talked about this is the genetic methylated gene testing, uh, which actually gives you some really um, uh, useful information as to how to supplement so that you don't have to rely on pharmaceutical drugs. It costs 600 bucks, which is a lot more than 23 Me, but that I think gives you more insight than this test. But um, yeah, so um, there was someone from Sequoia Capital and then Neil Mohan, the CEO of YouTube was on the board. And all seven of them resigned simultaneously on September 17th, 2024, which they cited differences with the CEO. So um, it'll be interesting to see if, uh, well, if they come back. Yeah. And I guess they were trying to do more customer specific uh, health insights, maybe more comprehensive genetic reports and that kind of stuff. So uh, again, you know, what I've found when reports is when you do the, you know, the $600 test, for example, from these other companies, and you get a really detailed breakdown. What it comes back with is different than what the cheaper test from 23andMe yeah. show is. What, that's why I'm saying is the 23andMe yeah. test even valid when you start comparing it to other more comprehensive tests and you find out that it's wrong. So we'll have to see where they're going. I'm, you know, I'm more of a fan of health, you know, understanding your health and taking something like this where you're, they do a custom solution for vitamins, like you're mentioning, to yeah. fix issues versus, hey, give me my background. I want to know if I'm this or I'm that and whatnot. The, you know, great. I'd rather yeah. know what my markers are for uh, high risk, low risk things so I can actually adjust my life. Birth saying you're 3% this, uh, you're Asian, whatever, or this, or you're being that. Yeah. I know it does give you some, some markers for what you could potentially be vulnerable to, which is useful. Um, again, it's the usefulness of the information is not that good. Oh, it's cheap and you get what you pay for essentially, right? Absolutely. And, you know, like I said, useful 
it gives you a starting point to go ask questions. You could be susceptible to this. Okay, great. What does that mean? I got to go. Oh, it turns out, no, I'm doing all the right things. Or maybe I need to adjust stuff. It's, yeah. You know, we're all pre-cancer and pre-dead, right? So it's just one of those. Yeah. When they start predicting this stuff in the future, you're, you know, you have to question some of these things. Yeah. So did you, yeah, go ahead. Just something, something to think about. I was just reading something. Did you know that there are new cancer cells that develop in your body every single day? Well, I just assumed that I didn't know about cancer specifically, but well, you know, uh, uh, amongst other yeah. things, but yeah, yeah, but your body typically gets rid of that. So like, yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Thanks for tuning in to Silicon Scoop. We hope you enjoyed this episode's dive into the latest tech news. Stay connected with John Irwin and the Startup Coach on LinkedIn and subscribe for more insights and updates. Until next time, stay ahead, stay informed.